in this integral i will take sin x or cos x from the denominator let's see this equals to integral from 0 to pi by 2 cube root of tan of x upon cos x let's take cos x so cos x if i take then sin by cos sin x upon cos x plus 1 into dx the whole square is equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 cube root of 10x upon here 1 by cos square will come okay so 1 by cos square is same as sec square x upon sin by cos is 10x plus 1 the whole square so let's substitute u equals to u equals to 10x and then my d u equals to sec square x dx so this we have formal limits when x tends to 0 then u tends to tan 0 is 0 when x tends to pi by 2 u tends to tan pi by 2 is infinity so this equals to 0 to infinity cube root of u or you can say u raised to 1 by 3 and then u plus 1 raised to 2 into du we have beta of m m is equals to 0 to infinity x raised to m minus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to m plus n okay we have this beta of mn is, is equals to beta of mn okay this same as mn now if i compare with this with this what we have we have is m minus 1 equals to 1 by 3 as well as here m plus n is m plus n equals to we have 2 from here you can find m equals to m is 1 by 3 plus 1 is equals to is equals to 4 by 3 we have m okay so what is n n equals to 2 minus m m is 4 by 3 is equals to 6 6 minus 4 is 2 2 upon okay we have m as well as n okay therefore this integral is become beta of m is what 4 by 3 and then 2 by 3 okay we need to find this value okay what is beta of mn in terms of gamma beta of mn in terms of gamma is same as gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so this is same as gamma of 4 by 3 and gamma of 2 by 3 and then gamma of 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 okay is same as 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 gamma of 4 by 3 is same as gamma of 1 plus 1 by 3 and gamma of 2 by 3 is same as 1 minus 1 by 3 okay upon this is same as gamma of 6 by 3 okay is equals to this is same as you can take 1 by 3 out 1 by 3 gamma of 1 by 3 and gamma of 1 minus 1 by 3 upon here you get 6 by 3 is 2 okay so gamma 2 is gamma 2 is 1 factorial therefore it's 1 okay so we don't have to write anything remember we have Euler's reflection formula what we have is gamma of m into gamma of 1 minus m is same as pi upon sin of m pi okay let's keep 1 by 3 outside here we have 1 by 3 as well as 1 minus 1 by 3 so this is same as 1 by 3 we have if i apply this formula here pi upon sin of m is here 1 by 3 into pi okay or you can say pi by 3 okay sin pi by 3 is 60 degree okay so is equals to 
1 by 3 pi sin 60 is root 3 by 2 is equals to 1 by 3 to bring up 2 pi upon root 3 okay again you can do rationalize root 3 root 3 is equals to 2 pi root 3 upon this will get 3 3 into 3 is 9 okay so this is the required answer for this Welcome back. This integral seems to be very lengthy as well as more complicated. Look at here, we have sin 2x over here, multiple of 2, we have multiple of 2 over here, here also, here also. This multiple of 2 will expand by using sin of 2x. We have sin of twice x equals to 2 sin x into cos x is equals to 0 to pi sin 2x is 2 sin of x into cos x sin 3x we cannot reduce it sin 3x sin of 5x here we can reduce it is 2 into 15 so 2 sin 15x cos 15x upon sin of x into here 2 into 3 2 sin 3x cos of 3x here 2 sin 2 into 5 5x cos 5x into sin 15x so these two 2 into 2 4 okay 2 into 2 4 this gets cancelled sin x sin x gets cancelled and then sin 3x and sin 3x gets cancelled sin 5x sin 5x gets cancelled sin 15x sin 15x gets cancelled and what do we have okay so we have is integral 0 to pi cos of x this is whole square cos of x upon we have cos of 3x cos of 3x into cos of 15x upon cos of 5x the whole square okay. remember what is cos 3x okay let's try to break angles so all angles okay so cos of 3x equals to 4 cos cube x minus 3 3 cos x okay i want cos 3x upon x so if i divide uh, cos x on both sides th therefore cos x upon this upon cos x equals to here 4 cos square x minus 3 okay so what is cos square x is 1 plus cos of 2x upon 2 minus 3 so if you cancel this 2 we have here i will get 2 cos of 2x here 2 minus 3 is minus 1 okay therefore instead of cos 3x upon x i can write like this okay so is equals to i can write 0 to pi so cos 3x upon this means this will go in denominator okay so i will write like this 2 cos of 2x minus 1 the same way you will get here 2 cos of cos of 10x minus 1 the whole square okay we have cos of x equals to e raised to i x plus e raised to minus i x upon 2 okay so that 2 i can write over here 2 cos x is this okay i need 2 cos 2 x therefore 2 cos of 2 x is equals to e raised to 2 i x plus e raised to minus 2 i x okay what about this also this also what about 2 cos of 10x is e raised to 10ix plus e raised to minus 10ix. Let's consider t equals to e raised to ix. Okay, then then e raised to minus ix will be t raised to minus 1. Okay, so here this is equals to t square plus t 
t raised to minus 2 ok. Similarly, here also this will be equals to t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 is equals to 0 to 0 to pi t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 minus 1 upon t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2 minus 1 raised to square. Now let us consider only this part. Now consider 2 cos 10 x minus 1 upon 2 cos 2 x minus 1 is equals to this will come what t raised to 10 plus t raised to minus 10 minus 1 upon t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus t raised to 10 upon by here 1 upon t raised to 10 is there. So, here t raised to 4 plus 1 minus t raised to 2 upon t raised to square. So, now here t raised to 10 is there, t raised to square is there. So, I can write 1 upon t raised to 8 and then what we have t raised to 20 minus t raised to 10 plus 1 upon t raised to 4 minus t square plus 1. You can, you can do this by division methods, but that will be very lengthy. So, I will use Wolfe's formula. Okay. By Wolfe's formula, what we have is equals to 1 by t raised to 8. What we will have here t raised to 16 plus t raised to 14 minus t raised to 10 minus t raised to 8 minus t raised to 6 plus t square plus 1 okay now let's divide okay is same as t raised to 8 plus t raised to minus 8 this minus 1 i will try it first minus 1 plus t raised to 8 plus t raised to minus 8 and then plus t raised to 6 plus t raised to minus 6 I will take minus common okay. So, here t raised to 2 plus t raised to minus 2. Now, remember what is t okay. t was e raised to ix okay. Therefore, this equals to minus 1 plus this will be 2 cos of 8x plus this will be 2 cos of 6x minus 2 cos of 2x okay. Now, this is what only this one, okay. So, this is this. So, now, we have the square, okay, outside. So, we need to do squaring, okay. We need to do squaring, okay. This, the whole square, okay. Let's consider A, B, C, D, the whole square. Means what? We'll get this square plus this square plus this square plus this square, okay. And then we have twice this into this, twice this into this, this into this. But remember over here, limit is from 0 to pi, okay. 0 to pi for sine, okay. If it is comes sine, differentiation of course is sine. Sine of either 0 or sine of pi is always 0, okay. So now, what about this? Let's see this down. I will we'll start writing over here. This minus 1, the whole square is 1, okay. So, integral of 1 dx 0 to pi become we have pi okay we have pi so we have pi over here plus this is square okay here we have this square is what we have integral 2 to the 4 i will take 4 outside cos of square 8 x dx what is cos square x here we have cos square x equals to 0 to pi here 1 plus cos of 2x upon 2 okay here we have 2 so is equals to 1 by 4 by 2 integral 1 plus cos of 16x 0 to pi so here we'll get 2 here here we'll have integration of cos is sine sine of 0 to pi become become 0 okay so here we'll get we'll have only pi okay so we have 2 pi here also we have 2 pi okay this is the whole square Minus, minus 1 whole square is we have pi okay here we will have 2 pi 
this whole square here we have 2 pi here also we have 2 pi okay 2 pi 3 means 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi okay what about twice this into this okay when you multiply this into this you have cos of i dx okay integration of cos of i dx is become sine sine of 0 to pi become sin 0 is 0 sin pi also become 0 even if you multiply this into this also we have cos of we have cos of a into cos of b equals to 1 by 2 cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b okay now multiplication of this into this also you have cos of this okay we have cos so integration of cos becomes sine therefore everything will become zero this also this into this become zero this into this everything will become zero okay so we'll have only this this equals to 7 pi okay so this is the required answer welcome back this integral I will consider whole d is equals to square root of a plus square root of b and we will find a b in terms of x okay so let us consider square root of x square plus 1 plus square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to square root of a plus square root of b. So, we need to find a b in terms of x. So, squaring on both sides, we have x square plus 1 plus x square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to a plus b the whole square is a square means square root of a the whole square is a plus square root of b the whole square is b plus twice square root of a into square root of b is square root of a into b. So, by comparing what we have is x square plus 1 equals to this and this equals to this. So, x square plus 1 equals to a plus b and another is what we have square root of x4 plus x square plus 1 is equals to twice a b. Okay, now if I square if I do square on both sides then x4 plus x square plus 1 equals to 2 to the 4 square root of a b the whole square is we have a into b. So if I do squaring on both sides here also what, what I will get a plus b whole square is x4 plus twice a b means twice x square plus 1 is equals to a plus b whole square is a square plus twice ab plus b square. So now this equation and this equation if I subtract this okay. Now if I give minus in this equation so subtracting these two equation we have. <coughs> so I am giving minus over here okay. So x4 x4 gets cancelled x square plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled on the left hand side a square twice a b plus b square this is a minus b the whole square equals x square so if i taking square on both sides x equals to a minus b okay so we have this we have x equals to a minus b and another is we have what we have is another what we have is x square plus 1 equals to a plus b. From these two we can find a and b in terms of x. So we have this. So if I add these two minus b plus b gets cancelled what I will get x square plus x plus 1 equals to twice a or you can say a equals to this upon 2. Okay. So we have value of a we need square root of a. So, square root of a is equals to 1 by root 2 square root of x square plus 1 x square plus x plus 1. I am taking square, square root on both sides. Okay? Now, if I have to find b then let us subtract this. So, I will give minus over here. So, what I will get 
x square minus x plus 1 is equals to, I am giving minus over here, minus a plus a gets cancelled. So, here twice b, twice b. Therefore, b equals to this upon 2. We need square root of b. Therefore, square root of b equals to 1 by root 2 square root of x square minus x plus 1. So, we have square root of b as well as square root of a. So, let us substitute over here. Okay. Therefore, this integral is same as square root of minus half to half. We have 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. So, I will take 1 by root 2 outside. 1 by root 2 a is square root of x square plus x plus 1 plus square root of x square minus x plus 1 into dx. Now, we have x square plus x plus 1. So, let us make perfect square. Okay. So, e is equals to, if I enter make perfect square, then x square plus twice I need. Already x we have, I need to put 1 by 2 plus twice a b plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus 1 but this is extra so minus 1 by 2 the whole square then from here to here is x plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus yeah, 1 minus 1 by 4 okay so is 3 by 4 3 by 4 is same as I can say root 3 by 2 the whole square Okay. Now, similarly, this also same. Similarly, x square minus x plus 1 will be x minus half whole square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square. Here only minus will come over here. So, therefore, 1 by root 2 integral minus half to half and instead of this, I can write like this. Instead of this square root of x plus half the whole square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square and then plus I am separating okay I am separating integral 1 by root 2 integral minus half to half and then this is same as square root of x minus half the whole square <coughs> plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into dx. Now, let us call this is I1 and let us call this is I2. Okay. Now, for I1, for I1, let us substitute D is equal, let us substitute D equals to x plus half, then my dt equals to dx or our limits when x tends to minus half then t tends to 0. Again, when x tends to half, then t tends to therefore 1 by 2, 0 to 1. This becomes square root of t square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into here we have dx. Okay, Here we have dx. So, dx become dt. Here dt. Similarly, for, for i2, okay. Let us, let's for i2 also, for i2, let us substitute u equals to x minus half, then du equals to dx, x tends to minus half, then u tends to minus 1, when x tends to half, u tends to 0, okay. This is i1, okay. This is i1 and i2 equals to integral minus 1 to 0. We have 1 by root 2 and this is this become what u square plus root 3 by 2 the whole square into d u. Therefore, d is equals to this over here. Okay. So, now it is of the form here we have x square plus a square here also square root of x, x square plus a square but here limits are different okay. now we have formula formula integral square root of a square plus integral square root of x square plus a square dx is equals to 
x by 2 square root of x square plus a square plus a square by 2 log of x plus x square plus a square plus c. Now apply this formula over here okay and then substitute the limits for this for this integral remember you have limit from 0 to 1 over here and then for this integral we have limit from minus 1 to 0 okay apply this apply this formula you will get you will get answer okay you will get answer is equals to equals to this this is somehow lengthy answer so i am giving you homework over here okay this is simple just apply this formula and then just apply this formula and then substitute upper limit minus lower limit you will get this okay this integral we have x raised to 9 over here therefore i will substitute u equals to x raised to 10 therefore d u equals to 10 x raised to 9 dx and du upon 10 equals to x raised to 9 into dx so all this is my du upon 10 what about limits when x tends to 2 and then u tends to 2 raised to 10 when x tends to infinity uh, u tends to also infinity okay doesn't infer anything so e is equals to 10 raised to 20 integral 2 raised to 10 infinity this become du upon this u square minus 48 u plus 575 we have 10 okay see here upon 10 this is 10 raised to 19 now consider this now let's consider what is u square minus 48 u plus 575 this ms let's make perfect square making perfect square this ms e square minus twice u i need twice a b multiplied by 24 plus i need twice a square plus twice a b plus b square i need but 24 whole square is 576 so we have 575 so one is extra so i am subtracting this therefore this ms u minus 24 the whole square minus 1 so instead of this i can write this equals to 10 raised to 19 then 2 raised to 10 to infinity du upon u minus 24 the whole square minus 1 now let's substitute some variable t equals to this t equals to u minus 24 then dt equals to du what about limit when u tends to 2 raised to 10 what is 2 raised to 10 2 raised to 10 is 1024 then t tends to 1000 t is equals to 10 raised to 19 integral or you can say 10 raised to cube to infinity and du is same as dt upon we have t square minus 1 1 is same as 1 square formula integral of 1 upon x square minus a square dx is same as 1 by twice a log of if it is minus then minus will come x minus a upon x plus a plus some constant c okay let's apply this formula over here so e is equals to e is equals to 10 raised to 19 into 1 by twice a 1 by 2 into 1 is same as 1 log of x minus a here x means here t okay t minus 1 upon t plus 1 and limit is from limit is from 10 raised to keep to infinity here this is same as 10 raised to 19 upon 2 now upper limit okay now we have infinity over here okay. limit of limit of say here t tends to infinity this can return as t minus 1 upon t plus 1 let's see what is value is same as if i divide the numerator and denominator by t same as 1 min minus 1 by t 1 plus 1 by t yeah limit of t tends to infinity 
when t tends to infinity now this same as 1 by 1 this is 1 ok t equals to infinity all this become this become 1 ok log 1 is 0 therefore upper limit is 0 ok 0 minus log of here t is 10 raised to cube 10 raised to cube minus 1 upon 10 raised to cube plus 1 ok now here this minus let us multiply this this is this minus I can interchange 10 raised to 19 upon 2 into log of this minus I am removing 10 raised to cube plus 1 upon 10 raised to cube minus 1 ok you can keep like this ok this is the required answer or if you if you want you can expand this ok or they have given answer is like this ok here 0 is 6 times 3 also 6 times here 5 into 3 times 3 ok you can keep like this